escaping a war zone, but still able to pursue his passion. For Gosha, staying on the ice was top priority, whether in Kyiv or Bristol. Now, eight months on from fleeing to the UK, he and Mother Arena have made the tough choice to return home. We are happy, um, we enjoy being at home, even uh, during these uh, hard and difficult times. For us, exactly, this is uh, the right decision, because uh, Gosha was uh, crying, he was sometimes depressed, uh, because uh, he separated from his father. When we arrived, uh, it took us maybe, it took me maybe more than months to adapt because we had so many changes. Uh, City looked a little bit depressed. Uh, you can feel that uh, war is in air. There you go. And stop, cross under, push, cross under, hold it. After appearing on Sky News, Dancing on Ice star Matt Evers reached out to help. The pro training kept Gosha's skills up. Now back home, constant power cuts because of the war, mean training is off to under backup lighting. We have, uh, you know, days uh, without electricity at home. We are in a um, normal regime now. We uh, train uh, three, five full days uh, per week, uh, usually three um, lessons uh, per day. Gorsha and his mum spent four months living with their host, Caroline. One day, they say, they hope to return. We would like uh, someday, yes, return, like tourists, <laughs> to see Caroline. I would like to see them even in Kyiv, if, if uh, we have peace and they would like to come. Show me the bears, Gosha. What is his name? It can't be. Can't be. Despite the relief of being back home with family, the war and worry continues. Before this uh, blackout, we had another uh, fear. I even forgot about this. It was fear all the time and risk of nuclear um, disaster. And uh, it just changes all of this nightmare. So I hope <laughs> soon somehow the missiles will, fin will finish. <laughs> it will be a Christmas under conflict, but one that means they're finally back home. Dan Whitehead, Sky News.